वेलकम यू ऑल सो टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज वॉट इज कवर प्रॉब्लम अ वॉट इज कवर ऑफ अ ग्राफ इज अबसेट ऑफ वॉट इज विच कवर एवरी एज सो आई एम गोन डिवाइड दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वॉट इज कवर प्रॉब्लम सो आई एम गोन डिवाइड दिस डेफिनेशन इन टू थ्री पार्ट अ वॉट इज कवर ऑफ अ ग्राफ सेकेंड इज सेट ऑफ वॉट इज एंड थर्ड इज एवरी एज सो बेसिकली द वॉट इज कवर ऑफ अ ग्राफ सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ ग्राफ दिस इज वॉट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस डेफिनेशन so i hope you guys know what a graph means and what are the edges and what are vertices in a graph so let's say this is a graph here the edges are this ab bc and ac and the vertices are abc second is it's a subset of vertices so basically we have to figure out a set of vertices from this graph and third is which cover every edge so what does a uh, what does this thing means that it covers every edge a edge in a graph is said to be covered if one of its end point is chosen so let's say in this graph again this edge ab let's say we're talking about this edge ab this edge is said to be covered only if one of its end point which are a and b either of or both are being chosen then that edge is said to be covered let's say another example bc's edge is said to be covered only if either of its end point b or c are chosen or we can say the both are being chosen so this is whole about the vertex cover problem which in short again means that we have to figure it out a set of all the vertices from a graph choosing whom covers all the edges of that graph so we see problem says that what is the minimum size vertex cover in a graph that we have to figure it out the minimum size set of vertices that by choosing minimum and minimum set of vertices we can cover all the edges of that graph so this problem is basically solved by the greedy approach and the approx optimal solution the greedy approach i'm not going into details of what these two approaches means but greedy approach just means that if you make choices that look best at the moment okay and the approx optimal solution it never gives a exact solution but it always give a nearby solution to that problem so now our first uh, approach is what is cover greedy algorithm so here we're going to talk about that how the vertex cover problem is solved by greedy way so here this algorithm has three steps step 1 step 2 and step 3 the step 1 says that we have to find a vertex with the maximum degree degree of a vertex is basically the maximum amount of edges that are being associated with it so let's say in this example the vertex 3 has four edges associated with it so hence it has degree 4 the vertex 6 it has two edges associated with it so hence it has degree 2 and similarly the vertex 8 has only one so it is degree 1 so first step is we have to figure out a vertex which has a maximum degree second we have to add this vertex to the solution set and remove all the edges associated from the vertex v okay and third is we have to repeat this this whole these two steps unless until all the edges are get covered so this is something contradictory about this uh, problem is that even though we are saying the vertex cover but here in this problem we are covering all the edges instead of all the vertices our focus is on covering all the edges of a graph okay so let's say in this graph uh, first of all uh, i have to figure it out what is the degree of each and every vertex so here the degree of vertex uh, this vertex 1 is 2 the degree of vertex 1 is 4 is 1 for this 2 it's 3 and for 3 it's 4 and for the vertex 5 it's 2 for degree 6 a vertex 6 sorry it's 2 and it's 1 and it's 1 so i can see that the maximum is of this vertex so i i choose this vertex uh, let's say this is my solution that i'm creating here so i choose the vertex 3 after that all the edges edges associated with that vertex has to be removed so in this case this vertex uh, this edge this edge this edge and this this four edges will be removed now i'm left with only this graph this graph is only left with me so now we have to i again have to choose uh, now other uh, uh, again the degrees will be updated because now these edges are gone so here three one uh, this degree vertex 2 won't have three degree it will become two it will remain two it will remain one it will remain two and now it will become only one so now from this remaining one the three vertices have the same degree and they are the maximum one two so i can choose any one of them so let's say i'm choosing this vertex 2 i'm choosing this vertex 2 now this two vertices these two edges associated with this vertex will be removed and left with only this graph this and this 
from this two edges they are not connected one so i can choose either of like this will again become one and this will become one so i can choose either of the vertex from these two edges so let's say from this one i choose the vertex one and from this i choose a vertex five i can choose either of so this is a approach by the greedy one here the solution is not optimal one as you can see i can choose any any other set of vertices i will give different solution here instead of five i can choose six here instead of one i can choose four so for different approach for different approach i can get different solutions so let's say again in this uh, graph um, again in this graph uh, so these are uh, the other solutions that I find from this graph, you can try it all by yourself by choosing different set of vertices. But the approach remains same that you have to choose them according to their maximum degree. Okay, these are two other solutions that I found. So here we can conclude that that this greedy approach is not an optimal solution. The uh, the choice that we may look best at a moment might or might give an optimal solution. So the time complexity for this greedy approach is v plus e. V is a set of vertices and E is a set of edges. Now our next approach is approx vertex cover. Here in approx vertex cover, this is an algorithm for this. Initially our C is a set which contains the set of vertices, it's phi. E is a set of all the edges in the graph. So the loop, this graph says that we have to make a loop unless until the all the edges get selected. We have to arbitrarily choose an any edge from this set and we have to its vertices will be put in this word, uh, set C, which contains a set of uh, vertices that we have to, this is a solution set we are figuring out, and remove all the edges that are incident on either V or U. So whatever edge we are choosing, its vertices uh, may, will be U and V, let's say. So all the edges associated with those vertices will also be removed from the set E def dash. We keep on doing this unless until my all the edges are being chosen. So here again in the same example as we have solved this for the greedy one. Now I'm going to solve the same one for the by the approx vertex approach. So here in this graph, uh, first of all I have to choose any arbitrary edge. So let's say I'm choosing this edge, three six. This edge I'm choosing. So here are two vertices three and six. They will be chosen. So now all the edges, so this is a solution set. Here my three is chosen, six is chosen. So all the, so this is a set of all the edges of this graph initially and C is initially phi. So uh, after when I choose three and six uh, from them, then all the edges associated with three and six will be removed. So let's say here this three, six will be removed. Three, seven will be removed. Three, eight will be removed. I mean, this three will be removed and 3 6 is removed and also 2 3 will be removed this one will be removed and 5 6 will be removed this is removed so i'm only left with this graph this graph is on, i'm only left with so from here i can again choose any arbitrary edge so let's say i'm choosing this edge this edge i'm choosing so here the vertex 1 and vertex 2 will be entered into the set and all the associated edges with this 1 and 2 will also be removed so 1 2 is removed Similarly, the 1, 4, this edge associated with 1 will be removed and 2, 5 associated with 2 will be removed. And hence, our the E becomes 5. Like no more, means no more edges are being left in the set. So here my solution set is contain these 4 vertices. So this is it. This is how the two approaches we have to solve the same problem that is vertex cover problem.